Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome back, guys. Welcome to another video uh, lecture from Kimi Biology. We already talked about the replications uh, of the DNA, double stranded DNA, and we also see the double stranded DNA structure. We also talked about the single stranded uh, DNA replication and their structure, and we also talked about the RNA, single stranded, double stranded RNA, and their replication scheme and their their structure. But now in this video, we will talk about the viral genome structure that how the genomes of the virus will be look like although we study the structure of the DNA and RNA and they are mentioned in a genome but still the genome of the viruses are much complicated and complex fine and it is very complex and complicated because the viruses genome will modify their structure again and again for this purpose to spread infection for the infection purpose so that's why they can modify their structure so how they can modify their structure and uh, how the viruses genomes are actually look like uh, so we'll be talking all in this video so now in this video we'll be talking about the viral genome structure viral genome structure so viral genome structure fine you know virus contain usually two important things or three important things one is the capsid means protein area and the other is the genome means dna or rna fine so if i draw the structure of the virus so it will be look like in this form this is the capsid area okay it contain capsomere uh, I mean the capsid are made up with this capsomere fine it contain the single stranded DNA or RNA and it also contain the double stranded DNA or RNA let me draw both you know the structure of the RNA and DNA are very different means whenever they can cause an infection inside the host cell so the structure of the dna will be arranged in a different form fine how because how these structure are arranged within these rna or dna they have some sp specific types of nucleotides we call that uh, self complementary bases or they have some specific types of bases we call that self complementary bases now these self complementary bases are pair with each other by which the structure are arranged I mean the structure will be look like in a uh, second I mean the structure will be in a secondary form so how let me draw let's suppose this is rna means this is a single stranded structure means we have rna so what happened in this case so in this case the rna contains some specific nucleotides these red one represent the nucleotides or bases now there will be also some other bases as well this green one also represents some other bases fine now in this case let's suppose this green base means if they are adenine you know adenine will make a pair with guanine and cytosine will make a pair with cytosine adenine i'm sorry adenine will make a pair with thymine and cytosine will make a pair with guanine fine so in this case let's suppose it is cytosine so it will be a guanine so they will make a pair with each other by which the structure of the dna will be look like in a uh, structure of the rna or dna will be look like in a different form so they will be formed in us uh, so they will be look like as a secondary structure so we call that uh, when the bases are present which are responsible means these bases will pair with each other so these bases are called self complementary bases we call that self complementary bases self complementary self complementary bases we call that self complementary bases why because this uh, each of bases will complement to each other and they make pair with each other that's why we call that self complementary bases this is the first thing 
Now, uh, second in second case, so when these are complemented to each other, so we get the RNA structure in a different form. Means just like in a stem loop-like structure. So we get the RNA just like in this form. Let's suppose these are the bases. Let's suppose these are the bases. And these bases will complement to each other and they will make a pair with each other. Fine. These green will complement to each other and they will make a pair with each other. So we get structure just like that. And we call that stem loop like, we call that stem loop structure. What we call that? We call that stem loop structure. Loop structure. Structure. Fine. But, you know, having these kind of complementary bases in a in RNA or in a single stranded DNA, <coughs> let's suppose in this case the single stranded will represent RNA. Let's suppose now having these kinds of self complementary bases, not only stem loop like structure we get, we get also another structure and we call that pseudo knot structure. How the pseudo knot structure will be look like in this case, pseudo knot structure will be look like in this form. Here are the bases which are the complementary to each other and they will make pair with each other. Fine. Now, this bases will make a pair with each other and we get another structure just like that and we call that pseudo knot structure. Structure. So, we get a pseudo knot structure. This is another structure. When RNA have these complementary bases, so we get pseudo knot structure as well. Not only stem loop like structure, okay, we get also pseudo knot structure. But we have some other kind of the structure RNA. We have some other kind of the RNA structure. How? You better know in eukaryotic, uh, the RNA will contain 5 prime cap. I mean, it contain a cap at the 5 prime. At the 5 prime, they contain a cap. But in RNA viruses, such types of uh, capping also occur and we call that uh, methylated cap fine so in viruses uh, we have also the rna structure just like in this form let's suppose but they have uh, capping what they have they have cape let's suppose this black one represents cape and we call that methylated cape what we what we call that we call that methylated cape methylated means ch3 means methylated you better know ch3 means methylated cap so we get a methylated cap and uh, let's suppose this one is 5 prime and this one is 3 prime this structure is usually happen in kind of a black beetle virus in black beetle virus these structure are happen so usually happen in a black beetle virus black beetle virus so usually these kind of structure are happen in black beetle virus but we have some other structure of the rna which have the adenine a lot of adenine at one end of the rna mean at the ter and what end of the terminator point we have some adenine group a lot of adenine we call it polyadenylation so we get another structure just like that and here there will be adenine a lot of adenine n means number of adenine a lot of so we call it polyadenylation what we call that poly adenylation 
relation and uh, these steps of uh, structure means these steps of structure are usually uh, occur in a polio virus usually occur in a polio virus fine so this kind of structure when they have adenine at the end and they have also some kind of proteins at one end uh, as well so this kind of structure are usually occur in a polio virus fine Polyadenyl polyadenylation means what polyadenylation means a lot of adenine means addition of adenine many addition of adenine are called polyadenylation when they are present in a strand of a genome single strand rna or double strand rna when the adenine are present a lot of adenine are present at one end of the strand so we call that polyadenylation fine so this is polyadenylation which are usually occur polyadenylation means the rna have the polyadenylations at one end we call that polyadenylation and usually occur in a polio virus fine but there are some other viruses which have both these kinds which show both the characteristics of black beetle viruses genome and they also show the characteristics of the polio virus genome but how this genome will be look like let me draw this genome structure this genome will be look like in this form they have our uh, let's suppose this is rna structure at one end or uh, at, uh, at one terminator end they have adenine means polyadenylation while the at other end they have the methylated cap as well let's suppose this black one represent the methylated cap fine so some viruses have just like that structure and these viruses uh, and these structures are usually happen in case of uh, sar corona virus sar corona virus yeah spelling is no right so this case uh, so means this uh, structure of the virus are usually present in a uh, structure of sorry this structure of the genome are usually present in sar corona viruses fine now this is about the rna structure this is all about the rna structure that uh, how the rna structure will be look like in a uh, viruses fine when they have self complementary bases so they will be look like in this form but some rna uh, have the cap at one end uh, and they have also adenine polyadenylation at the other end fine so now this is that's all about the rna structure now let explain the dna so in this case let's suppose that the dna will be look like in this form means double stranded dna okay fine so this is a linear structure of the dna so linear structure of dna will be look like in this form also they have some kind of protein which are present at one terminal end of one strain and another terminal end of another strain fine so these black area will presents proteins and you know these proteins are usually used to fold the dna in a secondary structure or to fold the dna in a tertiary structure or any kind of structure these proteins are uh, usually used for this purpose fine and this is linear structure of the dna linear L linear structure okay so now this is a linear structure of the dna just like that and just like that and this kind of structure are usually present in the adenoviruses as in a adeno in adenoviruses we have just like that structure second 
DNA are not only in a linear form. DNA are also in a circular form. In viruses, the DNA are also in a circular form as well. So how it would be look like? So it would be look like in this form. Let's suppose this is one strand of the DNA which are in a circular form. And let's suppose this red one is another strand of the DNA in a circular form. So what happened at one end of the strand, let's suppose at blue strand. So at one end they have some kind of the proteins. And at the other ends of another strand they have just like a structure which look like in a transfer RNA form. Okay, so now watch and pay attention here. This is a circular form of the DNA, which are usually present in our viruses. In circular form, they have protein at one terminal end, and they have also another structure which look like a transfer RNA. Okay, so we call that tRNA capping also. We call that tRNA capping also. So we call that tRNA capping also. Fine. So we call that tRNA capping also. And this kind of structure are usually present in hepatitis B viruses. Usually present in hepatitis B viruses. HBV means hepatitis B viruses. Fine. So this is another structure of the DNA. This is another structure of the DNA. Last we have another structure of the uh, DNA. Let's suppose uh, we have a single stranded DNA. Let's suppose. Okay. So they have just only protein at one end. Only at one end they have just protein. Only at one terminal end they have just protein. And this kind of structure are usually present in parvovirus. Parvovirus. Fine. So we have a structure of the single stranded DNA. And at the one terminal end they contain uh, some proteins. Means this can black present the protein. And this, the strain will be a single stranded DNA. So this kind of structure are usually present in a paro parvovirus usually present a parvovirus fine so that's in a sense about the viral genome structure it's very complicated if you see the research paper and if you watch a research paper on it or if you see it this topic in a book so it's very complicated and very complex i make it very simple for your understanding and uh, i hope this video helpful if you have any kind of question about this uh, topic, so write it in a comment. I will try my best to give you answer. And uh, if you like the video, please like the video. And uh, share this knowledge with your friends. And also subscribe the channel to get more interesting video lecture like that. Thank you.